In this lecture, we'll see how we can detect whether geolocation is supported by the browser or not. So the first thing that we have done over here is I've created a div with this status message ID. Now next step that we need to take is write a bit of JavaScript code. So here, just after this div tag, I'll be having the script and let's close that script tag. Once that's closed, we'll go inside this script block and here I'll be writing a function. Let's call it as check geolocation and inside this code block we'll have a function and here we'll be catching the exception in case it's there and we'll be returning undefined from here. Inside the try block we'll check actually over here that the navigator dot geolocation is there or not and if it is there it will simply say navigator and if this is there then we'll get this navigator dot geolocation value true otherwise it will be returned as undefined in case there is any exception then also we are returning undefined now this function needs to be called whenever the page gets loaded so for that purpose you can see we have this window dot onload code block now over here we are calling a method called initializer now the initializer basically updates our div so here we are checking check geolocation and if it returns true we are getting this line of code executed geolocation api is supported otherwise we are simply saying geolocation api is not supported as we are making use of just javascript that's the reason why you see document dot get element id being used rather than a dollar symbol we are not including jquery over here in this example now let's go ahead and execute this and browser so here you can see page it says geolocation api is supported and if i run this page one more time you'll see the breakpoint being set over here it checks for navigator dot geolocation and if this exists it will be going inside this code block geolocation and finally over here it will come on line 24 saying document dot get element by the status message dot in html geolocation api is supported so that's how this whole thing gets executed and in upcoming lectures we'll be exploring it further seeing how we can make use of geolocation api in real world scenarios